So we're going to be rounding up with this, so with this knife piece by doing a render in, by doing some real time render in um, Momoset to bag. So I'm going to, I'm going to start by importing my, my mesh. So I have my materials in here already. So I'm going to import my mesh. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this mesh, the one I exported out exported out to uh sometimes painter for texturing so i'll drag and click on i'll drag this and, and drop this in here okay so yes give they give me an idea of what of um how to manipulate my or where to plug in my textures as you can see so for the red is for the handle and pointer. So I'll start by bringing in my bringing in uh, my uh, let's see. Okay. So I'm bringing in my normal map. So I'll select normal. Go to my come in here. I'll go to maps ready. I expected all my maps in here. So for my for the normal map for the handle and pointer, I'm going to select. Let me drag this down in here. Okay, okay. I'm selecting this one. This normal map open GL. Open this. Okay. Then for the micro surface, I'm going to be putting in my roughness map in here. Let me take this all the way to white. So I'll be putting my roughness map. My roughness map. Okay, this is my roughness map. I export this. Okay. Then now I can import my albedo map. This is the albedo map. This is my color map. Okay. Then last thing I need to do is to import my metal, my metalness map. So on this reflectivity, on the specular, I'll click on metalness. So on the metalness map, I will just drop this in there and do okay. That seems fine. So I'm having something like this. Hmm. Checking to see if this is working correctly as it should. Okay. Not bad. Maybe the light I'm using is just a bit off. Okay. So carrying on, I'm going to drop in. Maybe I should use another. Uh, let me use another preset for this. Let's use okay let's use this okay yeah I think this is a, this is a better representation of what we are looking for Trying to figure out okay, yeah, it's better like this. I think this is better, like so. Though, this is definitely not going to be our final lighting on this, but just to have something in there, then we can begin to work later on, work on our work on our maps, okay. So, um, is there anything to drop in here? We have this already. Checking if everything is working or plugged in correctly as it should. Okay, maybe for this, maybe I'll tint, maybe I'll tint my material a bit. 
around somewhere like here should be fine okay so I have the, uh, now since I have that in there now so I'll select this now just trying to figure out if this should be inverted or not Inverse seems to be giving weird results. Yeah, I think this is definitely how my material should be. Yeah, okay, let me the blow for this backdrop. I don't want this material, I don't want this slide to be. Sky. to see the reflectivity on this material okay okay let me get this as an, at an angle I think this, this is I think this is exactly what I needed. This my gloss map should be inverted. Let's see. Oh roughness. Let me see. Yeah, now this is working correctly as you should. I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be using roughness, not not gloss. So yeah, this is working better. Now I can see the reflectivity on this blood stain in here, which is exactly what I needed. Okay, the, the two results looks kind of fine. Okay, uh, okay, let's carry on. So I'll select this. Let me. Put this back to let me put this on color. Let me use a darker, more darker background to this. Okay. Well, if you if if we should have, if I should mention, the lighting looks way better in Substance Painter than in Momset to bag. Maybe I, maybe I'll need to tweak some of the lighting here and see how and see the result that gives us. Okay, so now let's let's carry on. So back in here, uh, let me change this to roughness. Okay, for the normal map, normal map. All this open GL. Just loading up. So while I'm here, I'll just do a quick save. Do a quick, a quick save. Uh, knife. Knife one okay then okay down this is some roughness so I'll just select my roughness map it's my roughness map drop in my roughness map I'll drag this all the way here to white then plug in my albedo map, which is my base color. So it's loading up. Okay, no. The background is the background color is totally completely tinting, tinting the color of this. If I use something that has more of a yellowish tone to it. Maybe something uh maybe something around here. You see that yellow yellow yellowish things on, on the knife piece. So everything still boils down to the lighting. Everything still boils down to the lighting. 
okay uh, under metalness i'll change this to i think all these people have changed to metalness dragging my metalness material in here okay that's fine so now we have everything all set up and ready to go so maybe this time around i'll just choose a better lighting for this i've always prepared preferred using this particular one because i feel it has a neutral neutral tone to it but i'm not going to be using this anyway so i will just take this down okay let me leave i should be okay let me turn that off for now then i'm going to be working with some default lights in here so i'll start with a new light starting with a new light as you can see this light is catching the highlights properly now as it should you can see it's catching the highlights especially on this on this bottom part it's catching the highlights so I'm going to I'm going to change this. I don't I don't use this particular light. I want to use a different. I don't use spotlight. So I'm going to be using a different light. So let me use let's see directional lights. No, I always prefer using an omni lights. So let me. This seems far for me. Let me drag bring this closer. Okay, maybe I'll increase the brightness a bit more. Okay, I think I need to turn on on down my GI. Maybe let me enable GI for this. Okay, so I have, I have one light in here. Mm. Let me increase the. Do I have do I have GI turned on? I mean uh, ambient occlusion turned on. Yeah, I need to turn this turn this on definitely. I'll turn that on. Okay. Turn this on also. Then going back to my lights. Okay. Then I will duplicate this light. Ctrl D to duplicate that light. I want to on that light to serve as an eye light. Select that light. Maybe I'll just increase the brightness of the lights. And on this undo, let me give it an almost neutral tone to this. Okay, a neutral tone should be fine. So I want to kind of see those, it's kind of see the highlights in there. Okay. And I can see this catching the highlights. That's fine. Then I would my original light. I would duplicate my original light. Control D to duplicate this light. Do I have the reflections visible shape? This one always seems a bit bright, too bright. The only lights. Okay. Let me bring this closer and push this down. And maybe change the color a bit. Okay. 
No need for that light. Now that light seems to be catching the eye like properly. Okay. Do a quick save on this. So maybe now we can just introduce our reflection. Let me turn this. Turn turn back this my skylight. Maybe this one. Maybe I should raise this up a bit more. Let's see. Directional lights. Uh, that's that's just too much. Nope. I think I'll just stick with the. Okay, let's see directional lights. Let's see if I should. No, no, it's not giving me the result I need. Let me put this back on the only lights. Increase that a bit. I want to catch more of the highlights. So this is something, something like more, more of a rim light. Okay. this around here so let me just try to figure out the figure out the right backlight to use for this okay mm. let me add the child lights in here So that seems a bit too much. Trying to figure out the right spot to drop this. Maybe. Okay, yeah, it seems fine. No, honestly, I still prefer the still prefer the renders in the render the um, viewports preview in Substance Painter than compared to this in Mount Set to Back. Maybe I'm doing very poor lighting and lighting on this. But uh, anyways. I think I kind of prefer this normal basic lighting on this. Maybe I would drop in, select this, duplicate this again one more time. And put this in another position. a good spot to drop this maybe change the light a bit give it more of a bit more of a yellowish tone okay Yeah, not not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all. So I'm going to be leaving. I'm going to be leaving this as it is. So from here we can just take some um some screenshot renders of this. Okay. So if I hit my space bar, I'll get a full screen of this. So while I'm here, let me go to my render settings and do some 
okay my camera instead so under my camera i can do some adjustment on this or increase the bloom that's way too much maybe just a little of this on the edge uh, what else exposure that's too exposed So around here seems fine. Uh, I'll take down the size of this. We'll take down the strength also. Let's see, we can make some adjustment on the curves. Yeah, I think I kind of like, kind of like this. Yeah, this one, this seems fine. This seems fine. Maybe that bloom is just way too much. Let me take down the brightness down a bit more. Maybe we will need another of these lights. Ctrl D. Yeah. We obviously don't need another of that lights. Duplicate this again. Drag this all the way here. Okay. So now I think this is fine. Let's see if on our scene, okay, on the render, um, maybe not. Maybe not all of our lights, all, all of our lights should have shadow. Where is my shadow? Cast shadow. Yeah, it feels a bit too sharp. Let me select some of the other lights. Okay. Shadow turned off for that. Let me leave the shadow for that. Let me leave the shadow for that. Let me leave the shadow for this also. Yeah, let, me leave, let me leave the shadows. Let me leave the shadows. Okay. So from, from here on, I can just do screenshot of this. So I'll go to capture. Let me look for a good angle for this. It feels a bit too sharp. Let's let me go to my camera and see if we can take down this this sharpness. Um. There's, there's, there's any, there's any, there's any, there's any sharpness in here. Yeah, the have sensitive is okay. The contrast. Let me take down the contrast. No. Contrast saturation. This one doesn't do.
take this down a bit okay you do this very much yeah I think it looks better now so now I can do let me I should turn on my environment lighting uh, let me duplicate this my skylight control D then for this copy let me choose a different one and choose this instead I just need to have some some reflection some environment reflection on this do this on the knife okay okay it is fine okay so let's just let's just do it let's just render do a render of this Maybe something like this, uh, and then I would with my knife piece. I will duplicate this knife, drag the other one down here, and do a rotate. Rotate this this way. Can I, can I see the axis of this? I can just type in the value. Yeah, that seems fine. This seems fine. Okay, so let me just do a capture for this. Uh, settings. Um, let me capture something around three three k. Okay. Um, call it. Okay, that's for video sampling. I can I can make my material even sharp. I can come in here. Mm. Let's see if this makes any difference. Let me do this on this. I'll be do okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine like so. So let me just do it for a better angle for this. Okay. I'll click OK. I'll go to capture I'll just use image and open okay so as you can see I have my render in here now this is my render maybe I should get a better angle let me zoom this back out a bit to capture everything to capture image and open I'm supposed to set my output output folder for this. Yeah, it is better now. It's better now. Sure, you guys get the idea already. Sure, you guys get the idea of this.
Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so that's how you take some. Let me get a closer view on maybe the closer view on this. Be somewhere around, somewhere around the edge should be fine. Now do a render of this also. Okay, so that's just it. So we're done with this knife piece. I'm going to be uploading this on YouTube and then on my other um, website and other um, on other platforms in case you want to support me and then buy this tutorial. But I'm still going to be leaving this up on YouTube for free, so you guys can watch the entire process and make adjustments on it as much as you want. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.